Welcome back to Comic Book Reviews at geekoffet.blogspot.com. How are you doing? I just picked up, it's Wednesday, new comic book day, uh, and I've just picked up A vs. X uh, 7 and 8. I got 0 through 6, the, 6 last week off eBay. I couldn't get first prints and I wanted first prints. Um, so I had to go on eBay, get caught up, because I wasn't able to get them when they first came out. Um, so there's going to be some spoilers in here. I'm just going to pretty much cover uh, 0 through 8. If you haven't been paying attention to them, or if you don't really read books and you're just kind of interested, and maybe this will get you to check the rest out. Uh, some backstory first uh, on the on what's going on. Uh, in, in uh, I believe it's Children of the Atom, Scarlet Witch pretty much decimated the entire mutant population of the world. So there's very few mutants left, and they live on an island off the coast of San Francisco called Utopia, which Utopia has been used in X-Men for a while. Magneto had a Utopia. and uh, So all the mutants live on this island. Um, and if you know anything about the Phoenix Saga, you've seen some of the movies, uh, there's a force called the Phoenix that came and inhabited Jean Grey and they ended up having to kill her to get rid of it. Anyways, the background of the story is that the force is coming back and it's coming to inherit or inhabit uh, the body of Hope Summers, which is actually the granddaughter of Cyclops. Uh, Cyclops had a son who in the future turned out to be Cable and he had a daughter in the future which turned out to be Hope. A whole bunch of time travel stuff. Anyways, Hope's now in the present day with Cyclops, and they know that the force of the Phoenix is coming back to inhabit in her, so they're training her to be ready for it, because she's supposed she has always been called the mut mutant messiah, and there's a lot of backstory with that. Um, so they know the force is coming. The Avengers get wind that the, it's coming. They see the energy coming in outer space, and last time it came, it didn't turn out so good. D destroyed a lot of things. So the Avengers go, you know what, we need to stop it. They go and visit the X-Men on the island, and uh, Cyclops didn't take too kindly to that and pretty much uh, wanted them to get lost, and havoc ensues, and A vs. X, the Avengers vs. X-Men battle lines are drawn. Um, and for the next two or three books, it's pretty much just all-out war with the Avengers trying to get hope and the X-Men trying to protect Hope from the Avengers. Uh, certain characters are left on one side or the other. Really great artwork. Uh, just hands down Battle Royale. Uh, it's Michael Bendis. He does some good work and I'll go over some of his other books later. I really like Michael Bendis. Uh, his writing is really good. So this goes on. You know, they're chasing each other around back and forth, back and forth. The mutants are going, look, why are you trying to uh, pretty much wipe us out. This is our, you know, our Messiah is coming to help us out, and you guys are just kind of picking on us. It turns into kind of like a civil rights dispute. Um, but eventually, they they get to uh, the moon, and just when the Phoenix is about to uh, enter Hope, uh, Tony Stark busts out a machine and uses it on the Phoenix Force before it gets into her and it splits into five parts and inhabits Cyclops, Colossus, uh, the White Queen, Neymar, who I really didn't even know was a mutant until this book, but I, uh, I'm going to have to do some more research on that, and uh, Miss uh, Magic, who uh, was a character from way back in the day. Uh, I think she was with X-Factor, X-Force, um, but anywho, so they split up the phoenixes in five different people, uh, and they call them the Phoenix Five, it kind of leaves you at the end of one of the books right there, and it's just an awesome cliffhanger. Uh, so in the next few books, the X-Men, who are inhabited by the Phoenix Force, uh, start remaking the world, because um, it gives them the power over reality, and they can do pretty much whatever they want. So, I mean, they end world hunger energy crises bring peace all across the world so it's like hey I mean this is a good thing what what could anyone have a problem with it but the Avengers still go look this is dangerous we need to do something 
Um, so they sneak into the new utopia, which the X-Men had built for themselves, Paradise Among Paradise, and uh, take hope. And hope goes with them. Uh, and the Scarlet Witch is there uh, to kind of... Hope decides to go with the Scarlet Witch. And, you know, the X-Men didn't like that because they have a lot of bad history with the Scarlet Witch having wiped them out. And the Avengers, for that fact, don't have too good of a history with her either. Um... So that kind of brings us up to where they are now, the X-Men not being too happy about them having hope, and they take it as kind of an act of war. Uh, Neymar goes off the deep end and pretty much destroys uh, the Black Panther's kingdom. Oh, I'm not going to be able to remember the name of it. Yeah, anyways, they destroy his, his kingdom in Africa. Uh, and the Avengers are there, and they end up sneaking out. Uh, they do all the Avengers go head to head with Neymar, who's just on a battle rampage, uh, and they uh, manage to take him down. And the Phoenix Force from Neymar is split between the remaining four uh, X-Men: Cyclops, the White Queen, uh, Magic, and Colossus. And uh, the book ends with uh, all of the Avengers and Hope going off to. Um, where the Iron Fist is from, uh, which is a magical uh, kind of altered dimension where Kung Fu was made. I, you know, and I, I've always, I don't really know a whole lot about uh, Iron Fist either. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see where it takes. And that's pretty much where the uh, whole story ends off. So get caught up with it. Tell me what you think of the reviews. Tell me what you think of the story. Uh, it's really good. I like it. Um, I, I really have no clue where they're going to go with this. Um, but it's keeping me on the edge of my seat. I'm just waiting for the next issues to come out. Um, so check out our website. Leave some comments. Uh, Geekafet.blogspot.com. Check out our other YouTube videos. Uh, and follow us at Twitter, at Geekafet. Thank you.